Hi guys, it's Dale with eInsurance with your quirky question of the week. This week, our customer sent us a question, um, pretty sophisticated question. We were pretty surprised, but the question was, um, what is a loss ratio and does it impact my premium? Um, and this is, loss ratio is like uh, kind of insurance vernacular. Um, it's basically uh, uh, an equation that uh, that's a, a carrier's incurred losses, so claims, um, divided by um, the collected premium from the uh, from the carrier. So, if you think of it as for for every dollar, how much is your carrier paying out in claims, right? So, let's say their 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 loss ratio is eighty percent. Uh, which is a target for, for, for most carriers, then 80 cents on every dollar is being paid out to claims. Um, it, it could be confusing because it's often confused with uh, what's called a combined ratio. Combined ratio is essentially the losses incurred by a carrier plus the operating expenses, so just about everything on the expense side divided by the, uh, the collected premium. Uh, the combined ratio typically talks or, or is in reference to the financial health of an actual company, an actual insurance firm. Um, the loss ratio, yes, it, it applies to an insurance company, but it could also be applied to your personal policy, right? So let's say, and part of the question was, how does it impact my, my premium? Let's say that for your premium, for your carrier, for the past five years, you've been carrying a loss ratio that's above 100%. Um, that essentially means that they're losing money on your business. They've paid more in claims that they've taken in in premium from you specifically. Uh, how that impacts you is that your carrier would probably either increase your premium so that they're collecting more premium to pay for your claims or they may non-renew. Um, so so it's, a, it's a ratio that the insurance carriers do look at because obviously they want to make money and if that loss ratio ever starts to approach 100% or go over, then you might, you, you can probably expect a rate increase or a non-renewal. Um, that's our quirky question of the week. Remember to send your questions at questions at eInsured.com. We'll talk to you next week. Take care, guys.